We'd probably be healthier if we ate foods that were available and grew in the place that we're in at the time that we're in it, in the correct season, rather than eating something made in a laboratory or grown under lights or wherever it is. I think the same is true with the way we treat the body. Try to replicate what this what this body evolved to do. It needs to move. It needs to do something. And that's why I feel like when I first spoke to uh, Wim, uh, what I ex- like rem- I remember the time that I drunk- jumped into cold water, like a, you know maybe five years earlier, just to sort of see what it was like. I was curious about it. And when I jumped into the cold water, I heard myself go. <laughs> um, <gasps> Like I, heard, I thought, oh my god, I've never heard that noise come out of myself before. You know, like there's this, there's this, there's this stuff in me that I'm never using. There's this, well, I'm never using it. Like my body's capable of it, but I'm not doing it. And like so, you know, I think if you don't explore those those territories, which could be mapped as neurological, which could be mapped as psychological or spiritual, it doesn't matter how you map them. It matters that you know there are these terrains that are not being utilised within you because the cultural experience, culture means guide, manipulate, manoeuvre. Like it will have a mirror in your mind if you watch certain TV shows, if you watch certain news, if you eat certain food, it will have a mirror in the pathways through your mind. You're living on a few little tracks in a few little grooves. And when you feel the cold or you feel the breath, it breaks out into new dendrite spikes, new experiences, new realms. And suddenly you think, well, who was I anyway? What am I? My memory, my appetite, my impulse, my preferences, my likes and dislikes. Can I just let that die and just put like, whoa, it's dead. I'm not that anymore. (laughs) That guy's dead.